What's up guys, Jim Killing here back with another video and this time I'm going to be drawing again on my sketchbook and I'm going to be drawing this illustration here. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Cheers! So here I'm inking the character using my Copic Multiliners and yeah, I'm starting as always with the face. You know I like to ink the face first to get the expression right and the eyes are the most important thing to me when doing a character or a portrait so yeah I'm starting with the face then when I got the eyes right I go with the neck and adding details as you might know I like to ink and leave a great amount part of the details for the inking part I don't like to to develop all the drawing and the character with all the details in the clothing or the armor or the weapons or whatever on the pencil doodles uh, stage and that's why I want to keep interest on the other stages of the drawing most of it on the inking process that is the part that I like the most and what I do sometimes when the piece is kind of difficult the shape is difficult I like to play around the shading and set the light and set the places where the shadows will be before we keep inking I have a surprise I finally got a package I was waiting for about maybe a year and yeah I'm super excited to share it with you because it's an art book of a great artist that I admire a lot. Here it is. Um, yeah, maybe you know the package, maybe you know the side label. Um, yeah, it's Gary Villarreal art book. Um, yeah, he launched it on a Kickstarter. It was super successful and finally I got it. I was really nervous because with all that, you know, the global situation, post service are taking longer and have all the excuses they want to not deliver your stuff. So, yeah, it came with the sticker and yeah, it's sick. Look that, it's so good. I don't know where to put that sticker. So, yeah, thank you. Look all the details. It's really awesome to finally have this in my hands thank you Gary and ah here is a, a pin I think yeah great <laughs> so here's the book and um, the quality of the book is super great I love it is I don't know it's here's a little writing thank you Gary again um yeah he did something really great with this book he had almost all his drawings his art tools and they are placed in a chronological order so you start with his early drawings and you finish the book with it with his latest drawings and yeah you can see how his art style developed during all these years of drawing and the stories on the characters the shading the volume yeah it's great gary is an awesome artist you should check it out and on instagram and yeah thanks there you have it and we're back with the drawing and um, yeah let's keep inking now i'm doing the hair the hair is always fun, you can add so much dynamic on a drawing just by drawing the hair. So I'm taking my time, adding details, adding volume on it, and yeah, it's turning out great. I'm also always, while I'm drawing, I'm taking decisions, so here I'm thinking about the background, if I'm going to black it out or just keep it white so I'm always trying to 
I don't know, take the decisions or imagine the final piece while I'm drawing. I don't have the final idea of the drawing in my head uh, until I'm almost done with the piece. So, yeah, that keeps it fun for me. And maybe you're the complete opposite. You want to plan everything on everything and it's totally okay. But for me, I <laughs> I always get surprised by what I finally end up doing when I'm not planning everything. I have the idea of the character I want to do, uh, of the shape of the of the pose, but yeah, the final result it always surprised me, and it's awesome. It's I'm I have more fun when I do that so that's why I love drawing for myself and yeah that's why I keep drawing so here I'm I'm adding the thick lines and some more deep shadows on some places I'm using a 0 0.5 liner you can see here to fill the space between the background which I did with a brush pen that is not that exact tool pre precise tool sorry <laughs> and now I'm using this uh, multi-liner is a 0 0.5 to f fill those gaps and yeah to came with the final result so here you can see it's not the speed up drawing all the time and now I will add some white spots in the background. So I use, so about the camera angle, you can see nothing, but it's a Dr. Dr. PH Martin's pen white ink. Yeah, I'm reading it right now. And I use an old touch broth to apply it over the drawing yeah I, you have to be careful not to get all the table dirty and stuff but it's really fun here's the final piece yeah I what can I say I I love how it turned it out the dynamics the pose the body like destroying I was thinking about an Android floating in space forever like so yeah <laughs> let me know what you think yeah and what else can i say this was fun thanks gary for the book and hope you keep drawing and have fun i had a lot of fun doing the face the mouth the cables all those details that make the character like rich so yeah thanks again keep drawing cheers subscribe do all that youtube stuff yeah I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Here's the final. Yeah, I love that face. <laughs>